Jesus has come with a beautiful name called Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. Yes, indeed, God is with us. And that's why he is sending the Holy Spirit upon us for God to be with us and the Holy Spirit is with us. But am I with the Lord? Am I with the Holy Spirit? That is going to make a difference between me and another. The moment I learn to be with the Lord, the Lord begins to operate in me. Jesus said in John 15, 5, As I am in you, if you are in me, and if my words remain in you, you will bear fruit. Until then, you are only a branch. Only when you learn to be with me, you can be broken also. But when you learn to be with me, you bear my fruit. We read in the uh, book of Acts chapter 13, verse 3, Paul and Barnabas, when they were in Antioch, Ordinary saints, maybe people smaller than them, they said, we are fasting and praying. Both of you kneel down. And Paul and Barnabas, the great apostles, Barnabas especially a great apostle, but he knelt before those saints and they placed their hands and prayed for them. Paul and Barnaba bowed their heads and obeyed those saints and received the blessing. And the Holy Spirit came upon them very mightily. And today, in the place of Ephesians, we read in the book of Acts chapter 19 of the six chapters. Now Paul went to the Ephesians and he asked them what kind of baptism you have. They spoke about John the Baptist. Okay, that baptism is about repentance. You can have little more than that. And when he laid his hands on them, they all received the Holy Spirit. An ordinary man like Paul who dedicated his life for God and who learned to obey the people, who learned to be with the people, mightily blessed by God. This is what we need to learn. We need to learn to be with the Lord and we need to learn to be with one another. We brought nothing into the world. We are not going to carry anything from this world. As long as we are, be with one another. Helpful to each other. If we want to find the faults, we can have thousands of faults. Today morning I attended a phone call from a person, Vijay Kumar Reddy, from Akarabad. He's an ordinary man with just a conductor. And he told me, Father, today my brother and sister-in-law, their wedding anniversary, I have prayed for them, offered mass for them. He said, and then what he told me, I liked it very much. He said, my father had a business and he lost everything. But we have kept them. My mommy and daddy are with me, Father. And they are blessing, Father. Let them live hundred years. They are a blessing for us. And because of that, my two children, they are in America and they got H1 visa. So many people are, don't have that. God has blessed us. And I want to say, Father, great to my wife, who takes care of my father and mother well. This is what God wants. These are the people's who are witness to us, 
living people father did not give anything and the son is working as a conductor and his wife is working as a teacher in a small school private school little salary and they honor the father and mother and god honors them and they pray faithfully and he offers mass for his brother and sister in law what a great family and he says because of that god has blessed my children my dear friends that's what jesus says in today's gospel i am going to the father i have obeyed him in philippian chapter 2 verse 7 and verse we read till the end jesus obeyed the will of the father and then the father raised him up and jesus says with the pain but all of you will run away all of you will be scattered none of you will stay with me but i tell you i am always with the father and my father is always with me and that unity gives me the victory my father is with me in this world there are so many tribulations problems but i have won the victory because i learned to be with the father i learned to be with all of you now you are running away but i am not running away i'll be with you after my resurrection i will gather you people do make mistakes people do blunders people even hurt and wound others don't hold on to them don't hold on to those things hold on to people remain faithful as much as possible and what you have done to another god will honor you love god learn to be with him spend time for him invest your time for god for personal prayer as a community we offer mass very good but we have to find time personal time reading his word investing our time with him he is our god he is our father we should know how does he look at our life he should know what's all what are things happening in our lives and how does he look at it he should tell us and we should invest time with him to listen to him that's very very important for our spiritual growth in the same way we are not living living alone god has kept us in a family god has kept us in a community we need to stand with one another being with another is not a burden it is being with one another brings unseen blessing power and anointing which we will never receive from the world don't work for that which is if i keep this man this woman may be a burden i may have to spend some money no always god honors our lives are built by spiritual power so the unknown spiritual power will always take control of you will work mightily than the physical power i always speak about sri uj reddy gar when he was even ordinary teacher 125 rupees his salary he used to take 12 rupees 50 paise he is not a protestant man he is a catholic man in those days 12 rupees 50 paise he will take it separate and give it to god servants and god honored him today he is a blessing for all his children so many schools and institutions thousands of teachers he could give life my dear friends learn to be with god invest time to be with one another because somebody is misunderstanding 
Don't cut them up and throw them away. No. Monica, I always tell her husband was a drunkard. She could have thrown, her away, thrown him away. Ambrose said to the parish priest, God has placed this drunken man into your hands. You should win his soul. She not only won the soul of her husband by loving him, bringing the drunkard man to the home and loving him. She started to love her son, a drunkard. And that drunkard son became a saint, Saint Augustine. Your love will bring honor. Your love for one another, especially those who don't love you, when you begin to love them, the heaven will begin to operate in your life. When you invest time with your God, even in your busy schedule, the heaven will begin to operate in you and your lives will be protected and blessed by heaven. May God bless you.